And meanwhile, the balance of power in City Hall could still shift as more mail-in votes pour into the registrar's office. 10 News reporter Jared Aaron's live in Kearney Mesa. Jared, one city council race is still considered too close to call? It is, Jason and Virginia. Good morning. The registrar says there are still 285,000 mail-in or provisional ballots that they're waiting to count inside this office. And that's a big deal for City Council District 1 because right now it's the Republicans' only chance to gain a majority on the City Council and it is still too close to call. According to the latest results, Barbara Bree leads Ray Ellis 49 to 34 percent. But Bree needs to get above 50 to avoid a November runoff. If she does, that keeps the Democrats in power with a 5-4 majority. If she doesn't, then Ellis could win in November and give Republicans a majority. Now, we've been in touch with the registrar this morning. He says they will count any mail-in ballots that were postmarked by Tuesday and still arrive by Friday. So that could raise the number of ballots left to count. Volunteers were here until 3 a.m. They'll be back again to start counting at Eight. The registrar told 10 News, though, that they don't plan to announce any updated results until Thursday. As soon as we hear those, we'll pass them along. Live at the registrar's office, Jared Aarons, 10 News.